myself representing Malaysia Tourism Board or Malaysia Tourism Promotion Board, uh, promoting Malaysia to the southern part of Thailand. Our segment market is more on, on local Thai tourists, or local Thai people, expatriates and tourists that come to all part of southern Thailand, particularly Phuket. We have established, established in Phuket uh, for almost 10 years already and our main role is to promote uh, Malaysia to the southern Thailand, uh, southern Thai people that uh, to go to Malaysia. As I mentioned, uh, we are so connected, we are so uh, nearby and connected to more than 15 connectivity of land, sea and air to Malaysia from southern, southern part of uh, Thailand to Malaysia. Uh, we, uh, we have generated more uh, so far more than 9, 911,000 Thai tourists that go to Malaysia from all land and sea border, including some of the community from expatriates people in, in some time. Total tourist arrival that generators have contributed especially or dedicatedly from the Southeast Asia country. Uh, number one ranking is the Singapore and number two is Indonesia and Thailand is the third largest contributor of th uh, tourists that go to Malaysia and including two more countries that surrounding the Southeast Asia country which is like Brunei and also, uh, and also uh, from Vietnam. Malaysia is full of diversity of culture, arts, lifestyle of people. Malaysia is rich full of uh, races. I mean, uh, talking about Peninsula Malaysia, we are so much of uh, recognized Malaysia, truly Asia, because we are peaceful, harmony, living with all the races, Malay, Indian, Chinese, and talking about East Malaysia, we have Iban, Dazan, uh, all the tribes of people, and not forgetting the Aborigin people of Malaysia. We live together peaceful and harmony. And for that, for that, Malaysia was recognized with all the festivals. Among, we are among the countries that celebrate throughout the year festivals and holidays from all the races, from Chinese, India, uh, and, and Malay people, community of people. And this makes Malaysia is more merrier and peaceful and harmony. We, we can travel Malaysia to, to all parts of Malaysia throughout all the year. Like uh, in, uh, we have a place in Malaysia, high hills, uh, destinations like Ginting, Cameron Highland or Bukit Tinggi that all the year round is cold weather, it's a cold temperature so we can have a nice and peaceful place and so calm and that place uh, that makes this place so recognized. Ginting set like, like, likewise is so much of an entertainment place in the same time it's a cold weather place so a lot of Thai people like to go to Ginting Highland and the goes, same goes to uh, Cameron Highland. Cameron Highland Likewise, it's a place of all the, uh, the plantation of uh, all natural, natural things. Uh, we have tea plantations, we have flowers, we have fruits. And this makes uh, the place so recognized of the peaceful things. Uh, Cameron Highland also was actually recognized by the, the as, I, uh, as, I, as you know, Jim Thompson was lost there. And this makes Thai people make things that Cameron Highland is so remarkable for them. One of the reasons why Thai people like to go to Malaysia is because of shopping, entertainment. Uh, we celebrate or we have three times mega sale period or sales sell, uh, mega sales festivals in a year. We have beginning of the year, we have at middle of the year and we have year end sale. So that makes uh, Malaysia is so enjoyable for shopping. If you know that even the fuel price of Malaysia is much more cheaper than Thai and even Singapore. And if you go to some places like Langkawi, we are, uh, they are famous with uh, duty-free island. So you can get cheaper price of liquor, of things and all materials, uh, goods and uh, uh, women's wear in, in, in Langkawi because it's duty-free tax island. So they, this makes Malaysia is so, is so, is so famous with the shopping heaven. Um, just, just like, you know, if you compare the price, there are a lot of items that's much more cheaper, it's more branded items are much more cheaper in Malaysia. And Malaysia also was, I mean, not just about talking about the place that they are duty free, but Malaysia is a free tax country for them to buy. Like if you go to shop in Thailand, you have to get, uh, they're paying for VAT. 
certain things you can claim back. But in Malaysia, it's a free tax. So you can buy cheaper things. Even fuel is much more cheaper. Malaysia also are famous uh, promoting Malaysia My Second Home. Pro to buy a property, because Phuket, the second biggest things industries in Phuket is the property business. So when talking about Malaysia, there are things that Malaysia can promote. Uh, Malaysia My Second Home is one of the programs that the investor come and can own the place. If you buy a things, the properties, bungalows and land in Thailand, you cannot own them. Okay? You can own, in fact, you can own them for about a couple of years and there's nothing that you can take it for the long term. But in Malaysia, you can own the land, you can buy properties uh, in Malaysia and you can own them. And further to that, you can bring your things, you can bring your car, you can, it's a tax-free thing and you have a 10 years visa multiple entries to Malaysia. So that, that makes Malaysia is so advantage why and why you should choose Malaysia as your Malaysia My Second Home program. Malaysia also, like Penang, uh, in some other places in Malaysia, is so famous with the medical uh, facilities. We were recognized as a world, uh, world class uh, me medical facilities and world class place to have a treatment on medications. So, Malaysia, famous with the medical tourism. So, these are the things that makes Malaysia is, is so famous with this kind of uh, facilities, treatment, dermatologists. And uh, to give some example, Penang is so famous with other parts of neighboring countries that go to Penang to have the medical treatment. Formula One is one of our major events in Malaysia that attracts, that attracts the eyes of millions of viewers and audience in the world. Um, F1 is not just in F1, but we have other events and sports events that we have in Malaysia, like Monsoon Cup in Tringanu. So it's one of the international races event, race event that happens in Malaysia. We have F1, Powerboat and many other things. And recently, uh, Malaysia Showdown, our Malaysia Open for Tennis Open is held in Malaysia. That showcasing all the major uh, uh, well-known players in the world. Golf in Malaysia is one of the uh, attractional products. Okay? Since that you're talking about shopping is cheap, to play golf in Malaysia is also cheap. Okay? I have played in Phuket and I have played in a couple of places in Thailand. So I guess in Malaysia, I still fell in love in Malaysia because all the golf facilities is all world-class facilities. And uh, you can find it in many provinces or states in Malaysia to play golf. And those facilities are world high standard quality golf. I love Phuket. I have been here for two and a half years, and yeah, to be here to 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 have my office here. But I look after the, all the parts of southern Thailand, and even I went to Samui. I fell in love with the place, the people, the softness of people at Thai, and Phuket is one of the vibrant, vibrant, vibrant places that I I have lived on. So I love Phuket. <laughs>